Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, All Things Taylor, with yours truly, Taylor Hendricks. Just in time for another What's Going On in Hollywood Netflix update. Woo! Today, uh, anything is possible. <laughs> so let's get right down to it. Before we dive right in, please be sure to uh, hit the thumbs up like button to help grow this channel. We've got so much amazing content headed your way. Uh, I can't hear you over the sound of my own deafening awesomeness. <laughs> Huge Archer fan. Okay. All right. Anyways, now that we're getting totally nerded out, we have a really fun update today. I am super excited about it. If you guys are freaks like me and love this kind of stuff, you're going to be very excited. I know I was. So the 35 year old cult classic 1980s film has officially dropped on Netflix. I am super excited. Uh, guys, Labyrinth is officially available to stream on Netflix in the United States. So excited. I'm such a huge fan of the film and of course David Bowie. Uh, so I actually learned some really cool things about it. Um, so here we go. Apparently, uh, not only did <laughs> David Bowie play two characters, if you guys didn't already notice that, obviously he was the Goblin King, but he also was in a photo portraying a completely different character in regards to Sarah, who was played by Jennifer Connelly. Uh, and not only that, not only did he play two characters in the film, which was kind of low key, he also wrote the music that he performed in the film. I thought that was cool. Like I knew that he sung those songs and you know danced and performed the songs, but I didn't know that he actually wrote the songs. And apparently, David Bowie was not the first person. Uh, they were also uh, kind of crowdsourcing and seeing who uh, they may have wanted to play the Goblin King, Jareth. And apparently, they were also considering Michael Jackson for the iconic role. And what happened is Jim Henson actually kept in contact with David Bowie, giving David Bowie updates over the two-year developmental time when they were you know putting things together getting ready to film the, the cult classic labyrinth and uh, David Bowie would not go on to the project without having those updates uh, coming along so I thought that was really cool and that and he ended up being the iconic character himself I mean I had stickers all over my high school notebook of labyrinth which fun fact that exact uh, like little binder notebook that I am referencing was used by Lady Tappa in an OVW Saturday Night Special promo highlight video where she was the goth kid. Uh, guys, that was my notebook that she had. I think she may have used that to pretend hit Rob Terry uh, in, in, in our video. So yeah, uh, Taylor Hendricks, <laughs> once a gothy freak always. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a little behind the scenes fun fact. Uh, Taylor Hendricks is a huge Labyrinth fan. I am rooting for a Labyrinth 2. I think that would be so amazing. I would love to be like the female version of David Bowie in the new one. That would be so crazy awesome. I would really sink my teeth into that role. It would be so cool. So, 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 so cool. Uh, so yes, your update today has been about Labyrinth streaming available now in the US on Netflix. Watch it. If you have never heard of it, never seen it, you are in for a treat. Yes, some of the stuff hasn't held up, but that was pretty revolutionary for their time. Jim Henson is a genius. Jennifer Connelly and David Bowie are amazing. Uh, I mean, come on, uh, dance, magic, dance. <laughs> I mean, it's just so amazing. I love it. Uh, that film came out June 27th of 1986. It is officially 35 years old this year. So huge total awesomeness check out labyrinth you will not regret it this has been a hollywood update concerning netflix and labyrinth with yours truly taylor hendrix on my youtube channel all things taylor talk soon <laughs>